Hi! In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps for your very first C-sharp application. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an application that will do some calculations. Now, I'm looking at a tutorial page from Microsoft. So Microsoft, of course, is the inventor of C-sharp and the maintainer of the language. So we're going to look through this section here called Create C-sharp Apps. And I'm going to show you this section called Create a Console App. So in a previous video, I showed you the differences between these different apps, and now we're going to actually create one of them ourselves. So this here, it says we're going to create a simple console app in Visual Studio. And so I'm going to switch into Windows in just a minute and show you how this works. So we're going to go through each of the steps in here, and let's see where we're going. I think north, toward the end of the page here, it will show you a calculator. Yeah, so we're going to make an app that looks like this here. It's going to say type a number and press enter, and then another number, and then it gives you the option to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and then it will produce an answer for you. And so that is where we're going. So let's get started. So I'm switching in my desktop now to Windows 10. So I'm running a virtual computer here, so I'm still on a Macintosh, but you can see I have Windows 10. And so I have installed Visual Studio. So if I go to the internet and download it and install it, you'll get this. So I'm using Visual Studio. I think I chose the Community Edition, which is completely free. So you will be able to set this up. Now, if you have a Windows computer, you're in good shape. If you don't, then you need to go and install something like uh, what I did here. I have a program called Parallels for Macintosh, or some people use VMware so they can run a computer within a computer. The simplest result, though, is just to get yourself a computer that runs Windows. All right, so we've got the main screen open here, Visual Studio, and I'm going to select Create a New Project. And then I'm going to have lots of choices to pick from. So you can see that there are different types. So I am going to select all platforms and let's say select all project types and then get a good view of everything. So what are there, 50 different types of projects that you can build in Visual Studio? Look at all these things. How confusing is that? So fortunately for us, we're going to pick the simplest one. So I'm going to switch to console type and then we have other types of consoles. So there's something called .NET Core, .NET Framework, .NET Core. We're interested in this one called .NET Framework. So let's choose this guy here. I do want to avoid Visual Basic. That's another language that, um, well, we're not going to deal with. So C Sharp, Console App, .NET Framework, and choose Next. So this thing is we're going to make as a calculator. So let's give it a name, Calculator. And then it's going to tell you the location where your project will be stored. So in mine, you can see my name is Shad Sluter. It's in the C drive, user Shad Sluter. So if I wanted to find that, I would go to my little yellow folder and browse through my projects, click on the local C drive, and I find users, and then I find Shad Sluter. So then I need to go to source, and then finally I got repos, and you can see I have lots of projects. So every one of those folders represents a new project that I made. So that's where they are. And I'm going to just minimize this window and leave this here. It's a perfectly good location to save it. And then your .NET framework. You can see that uh, the framework has different versions. And so it's likely a good idea to just pick the most recent, unless you have some specific reason not to. All right, so now we're going to click the Create button. And it'll take a few minutes, but I will wait for it. All right, you can see now that the application's up and running. So Visual Studio has created several things. First of all, the Solution Explorer here on the right includes the file name Program CS. So this here is what is being displayed in the center. You can see the name Program CS up on this tab. This is the actual C# -sharp code. We're going to write instructions in here, and when we run the code, we're going to click this little green button. We will see output appear down in this window here, or it'll show up in a new box in this, in a, in a black window, a console window. The toolbox doesn't seem to be useful right now because console apps don't have buttons or any kind of labels or anything, and so the toolbox is usually where you can find those kind of controls, like you want to put a button on the screen or a menu, and so we don't really need the toolbox. We'll just ignore it. But let's go see what's going on in this program. So we need to look here in the center. So 
there is a class called program. A class is kind of a unit of code. And then you have a main function. So a function is a collection of code as well. And we're going to ignore pretty much everything around it for now, just so we can see what a program looks like. So inside of these curly brackets, we're going to insert. So I'm just going to click my mouse and press enter or return a couple of times. Now, the only statement that we need to worry about right now is something called a console write. So I'm going to type in the word console. And as I wait, I notice that there's a menu that pops up. This is called the type ahead menu. So I'm just going to press the enter key and it will finish the word for me. So console dot, and then there's a whole bunch of commands that I can choose from there. And the one that I'm looking for is called write lines. So I'm just gonna press the enter key again, and then I can put in a message. So I can say, hello, how are you? And then in quotation marks, I have a string, a string of letters. And then you have to terminate a sentence with a semicolon. Now this is a complete program. It will start here at the section called main, and then it will execute right line, and then the program is going to show up for just a split second and dis disappear. So I'm gonna enter a new different uh, command here. So what I'm looking for next is console.readline, and then I have to put in some of these parentheses, and this time the function doesn't need any string or anything, it just says read line. So it's gonna wait until I press enter. Let's see if this program works. So I'm gonna press the start button and see what happens. Now it's going through a process now called compiling. So it's translating your English words here, read line, write line, and it's computing a bunch of zeros and ones that your computer understands. And it packages it into a program that will now execute. And here it comes. So calculator is the name of the program and you can see the console is producing a message. It says, how are you? And this here is waiting for a return. So the function or the method called readline is what's, at, what's being done right now. So if I press the enter key on my keyboard, the program should finish. Let's see, I'm gonna press it again. There, so now I pressed it and the program ends. And you can see that we're back to a start button and we can change it again. So if you wanna put in some more messages, you can, uh, let's say I'm gonna just highlight this row here and I'm gonna copy and paste it. So I'm gonna use the control C command and then paste it a few times and let's see if I can print more than one line. So there's one line, two lines, three lines. And if you want, you can copy the entire thing and just make your program a little bit longer. So this will, this will ask, how are you, four times. It asks for a read line, four more times and a read line. So let's see what that does. So here we go, we're gonna try it out again. Okay, so I'm gonna move this program over so we can see the code side by side with the console. So you can see, I asked it to write four times. How are you? I'm gonna press the enter key, return, and it asks four more. And I'm gonna press return once more, and then the program stops. So you can see that it's a sequential execution. So it starts here at main, and it does everything in the list that I've told it to do. So it's like a robot, it follows its instructions, and then when it's done, it closes the program. So that's your first, um, you might call it your hello world experience with a console app. Now I'm gonna go into another video here and we're gonna go through this entire page and create the calculator app and I'll explain some of the things there. But for right now, you've got yourself your first app. Congratulations, you are now a programmer.